The FBI grilled Kim Kardashian as part of one of the biggest trials Hollywood has ever seen, as she admittedly received hundreds of thousands of dollars in one setting from a now FBI fugitive, including $250,000 in a trash bag, plus hundreds of thousands of dollars more. This is a crazy story, too. You and I, we are going to talk about it today. And I mean, this includes things like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West being offered a Basquiat painting. And instead of wanting to take that, they called back and said, nah, we want a Monet. That's right, a Monet. <laughs> Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So there's a trial going on right now that is spilling out all of Hollywood's dirty secrets. And as part of that, we have Kim Kardashian's involvement with a now- FBI fugitive in which they were buying political and social power. Now, according to the FBI's notes, there's seven pages all told. Kim Kardashian initially meets this now FBI fugitive back in 2009, where she was paid to appear at a nightclub in Las Vegas. Now, the details, they're added to this, too. She was paid approximately $50,000 to show up for the red carpet and to hang out for approximately two hours. Now, the party was held in Las Vegas in the hotel with the giant fountains out in front of it, and Kardashian, she didn't want this to interfere with her filming schedule, so she agreed on the condition that she could fly in and back on the same night, which was agreed to. Now, Kardashian says in that first meeting, she didn't have any idea who this person was. In fact, she was paid $50,000 to shake hands and to introduce herself, but they never spoke. In fact, she left the party thinking that they actually could not speak English. Oh, but that money, though, it changes everything. And once Kardashian finds out that, lo, he likes to give away money, lots and lots of money, yeah, apparently they become fast friends. I want to read you part of this here because, I mean, this, hundreds of thousands of dollars, $250,000 in a trash bag, this is something. Quote, Lo, that's the person that is now wanted by the FBI and Kardashian, eventually became friends and Kardashian started getting messages from Lo. Kardashian estimated that she saw Lo six times, including gambling with him twice, redacted, there's a lot of redacted names by the way, told Kardashian that Lo was notorious for gambling and giving a lot of money away to people. Now, Kardashian tells a story about when she went out gambling with Lo at the first time. And you can tell this is how you get in trouble with the FBI. See, she goes out, she parties in Las Vegas. You know, they get together, they go to clubs and more. And then around 3 a.m., Kardashian, redacted name, and Lo, and the entourage, they go to a private room in the casino. They're going to play Baccarat. Now, what's fascinating is that Kardashian, she kind of gives away how she's not there to interact with anyone else. She's there because, well, she's heard things about Lo. Why is that? Nobody else speaks English, according to her. At least that's what she figures, just like she said about Lo before. She sticks around till 5 a.m. Then she decides that she's going to leave. She tells Redacted, I'm out of here. But Redacted is like, nah, you want to stick around? You want to drink a little coffee? Because Redacted had heard that Lo would give people chips at the end of the night when gambling. So Kardashian says that they stuck around and that they won big on one hand. This is not Kardashian's money, though. So, one of Kardashian's security guards says you might want to give that money back, but Kardashian says when she attempted to give the money back to Lo, Lo told Kardashian that the chips were hers to keep. So, Kardashian goes to the casino counter. She goes to cash out, and she learns that those chips that she have, they're worth approximately $350,000. $350,000. Kardashian was given a trash bag full of $100 bills estimated to be worth $250,000. Kardashian says that she put the trash bag full of cash in her carry-on bag and she boards a Southwest Airlines flight back to Los Angeles with $250,000 of $350,000 in 
cash in her baggage. It's so much money, in fact, she doesn't know what to do with it. And when she asks about it, she's told that you need to get a gift receipt for that. In fact, not only do you need to get a gift receipt for it, but the casino, they won't give you the rest of that money, the other $100,000, unless Lowe is actually present at the casino, which Lowe does indeed take care of. Now, Kardashian starts to realize just how much money that Lowe has on their second time out, where she gets another $100,000 also delivered in a trash bag. Plus, she sees Lowe drop a $2 million marker, and well, that gets the old head spinning. So she finds out that Lowe has money all over Hollywood and is given lavish gifts to people like Jamie Foxx, who was given a car. You have the Wolf of Wall Street funded for Leonardo DiCaprio. You have jewelry bought for Miranda Kerr and so many other folks as well. Now, this leads to an almost unbelievable story in 2014 where you have Lowe offer a Basquiat painting, you're talking about millions of dollars potentially in paintings, to Kim Kardashian. And Kanye West tells her, nah, you need to text back and say, we want a Monet. We don't like Basquiat. We would rather have Monet. Now, Kim Kardashian says that the reason that they did that was that they found Lowe to be very fickle when giving gifts and never actually expected to get a painting from that, despite the fact that they had picked up hundreds of thousands of dollars. They knew about all these other gifts. Yeah, I don't believe that at all. In fact, Lowe ends up giving them some lavish gifts and quite a bit of money for performance fees. We're talking about a white Ferrari for their wedding, which they sell for $240,000. You have Kanye West perform on a yacht for Lowe and around seven guests. He ends up getting $1.25 million for that. That's right. Plus, you have another $250,000 given to Kim Kardashian and $340,000 she doesn't even know what's for. And that, that's just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. Now, the problem in all of this for Kardashian and really all of Hollywood is they weren't just going out and bilking some billionaire here. What they were doing is they were taking money from a quote-unquote Chinese dissident. That means a spy. They were taking money from foreign powers. And what these foreign powers were trying to do is they were trying to buy influence, Hollywood influence, because they could turn that Hollywood influence into political influence, which is what you have trials going on for right now. With Praz from the Fugees, he's on trial. He may actually go away for decades because of this stuff. Why? Because he tried to buy off both sides of the political spectrum. And this, this is why you don't really hear about this case, because everyone's at fault everyone's indicted. Yeah, I mean, this is something. And like I said, it is going on right now. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. Would you like to hear more about it? I definitely enjoyed this story. Ah, but let me know. Appreciate you being here too. Want to help out the channel? Links are in the description. You being here though, that is the biggest help of all. So thank you. Appreciate you. Gonna end here. See you soon.